Hey M, can I legally build a machine gun? Today we're talking about whether or not you can legally build a machine gun. We got this question from the folks over at Facebook, and you're not gonna wanna miss the end when we talk about some practical tips from our practice in dealing with the ATF when you might have a quasi unregistered NFA item in your possession. But before we get rolling, don't forget to show your support for the Second Amendment by hitting that like button. To begin our conversation, we have to know what we're talking about when we say machine gun. And what we're talking about is something that fires automatically more than one shot from a single function of the trigger. Now, there's a lot of other devices out there that replicate what a machine gun may look like or operate like. And for purposes of our discussion, I'm going to set those aside for a moment. We're just talking about, you know, sincere designed and manufactured to be a machine gun from the beginning and not maybe some item that might transform it to be very similar. So we're talking about guns that were built for the purposes of shooting automatically. So this comes from the Firearm Owners Protection Act and essentially any machine gun manufactured on or before May 19th, 1986 had to have been registered in order to be legal under federal law. And so what we see nowadays, anything manufactured after that date, it's going to be an uphill batter, battle as to whether that thing is going to be considered legal or not. So talk, let's talk about legal machine guns first, Em. Yeah, well, you know, we have essentially a very small market supply of legal machine guns because the only ones in circulation for private civilian ownership are the ones that were already constructed and registered when May 19, 1986, swung through our calendar. So that Firearm Owners Protection Act date is hard and fast. There is nothing new. They are incredibly expensive, really hard to get your hands on because anything that is manufactured after 1986, May 19th, 1986, is just for police or military uses. Um, and so it is highly unlikely that anyone here watching, unless you are police or military, has actually touched a modern fully automatic rifle. Yeah, and to, to answer our question of the day, who can build, really at the end of the day, it's manufacturers for police and military use only. So if you're a private civilian, you have maybe have a milling machine, 3D printer, something like that. If you were to manufacture you know, a gun that fires automatically more than one shot from a single function of the trigger, because we don't have time travel and you couldn't go back and build it and register it back before 1986, it's not going to be legal under federal law. Yeah, and I mean, to even just uh, just <laughs> expand that a little bit, we have this federal definition that says that any machine gun component is itself a machine gun. Good so if you have a 3D printer, you get the plans for a full auto sear and you print it out, even if you, have, you just have that sear, you have not actually put a weapon together, you're in possession of an illegal machine gun. You're gonna be fined up to a quarter million dollars. I mean, there's, there is federal prison time associated. That's a big deal. So, I mean, it's something that unfortunately is hard and fast. Yeah, it's a really important point that Emily made. And so I think it bears repeating. Unlike a short-barreled rifle, a short-barreled shotgun, where the disassembled item itself wouldn't be a short-barreled rifle or short-barreled shotgun, having any of the machine gun components, even if it's not fully assembled, is going to be considered a machine gun. So I th just want to make sure we're crystal clear on that uh, because this gets to kind of the point of our kind of pro tip and what we see in our practice, which is oil filters, solvent traps, uh, red coat hangers, things like that, items you can buy online or you see advertised online that may transform firearms into fully automatic machine guns. So what's kind of, what do you see in your practice, Emily? If you have bought something on the internet that says that it may transform your rifle into a fully automatic weapon, you do have a problem. And in part, the reason you have a problem is the ATF tracks these websites. And so what we have, our clients consistently come in and they have gotten a phone call from the ATF because they've bought one of these items. Um, so here's our practical tips for that. There's, I guess, some good news and some bad news. The good news is that practically what we see, if you're a first time offender, if you've bought one of these sort of quasi items and the ATF is onto that seller, they aren't really after you. They're after the seller. You're probably gonna have a really nasty conversation with them. They're gonna write you a letter that's basically a warning that says, you know, we're gonna take this item away. We're not gonna prosecute you this time, but keep your nose clean because next time you're going to federal prison. Um, but even more than that, even though that's the likely outcome 
the first contact you get from the ATF accusing you of having in your possession any unregistered NFA item, machine gun or otherwise, contact an attorney immediately. You do not want to go into interviews with federal law enforcement unprotected, even if hopefully they're just going to give you that warning letter. Um, but the bad news is the feds are the feds and you never know when, gosh, how often does ATF policy change? all the time constantly and so the the people who are staying abreast of this are the attorneys at practicing in this area if you're contacted by the atf you know obviously we don't want you possessing illegal machine guns but if you're contacted by the atf it's so important to speak to an attorney to know what your you know risk exposure is your options and how to handle it appropriately but we want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this content consider subscribing and hit that like button and help us fight the anti 2 a algorithm by sharing this video and please keep all of your questions and your discussions coming in the section below and until next time we're the armed attorneys